Hey, welcome back to another Stay Plugged In video. Before we get into this, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated to our latest content. Today we're going to talk about selecting power supplies and, and how the input to rating impacts the amount of power your power supply can deliver. And the reason why input to rating is necessary, it's a function of the classic power equation. Power equals volts times amps. When your input voltage goes down, the input current would go up to keep the power the same and the input the same. However, the current is going to be limited by the size of the wires and the traces on that input part of that power supply. So to keep the same current and prevent those wires and traces from overheating, when the input voltage is lowered, the lower the maximum power rating is going to be a function of that lower input voltage. Now an input to rating curve is a graph that shows how you should reduce the maximum power output of your power supply. And this is going to depend on the input voltage. Now many power supplies employ an input to rating curve and there are two common styles of this graph. One style has two distinct portions, the flat portions that represent commonly used voltage ranges that we call high line and low line. In this graph here on this specific LED driver, the input voltage you are using is on the x-axis at the bottom and the maximum load percentage is on the y-axis on the left. Here you can see that when the input voltage to the driver is around 110 or 120 volts AC, this is known as low line, and the load percentage shown on the x-axis here tells you that you should limit your output to 70% of the maximum output power. So that means for this, approximately 100 watts of power is what will supply, and your output should not be more than 70 watts using the low line input. Now this graph also shows that as we trace along this curve here, 70% the rating is recommended up until your input voltage is above 180 volts AC. At that point, the graph goes sharply up until you can see that the inputs above 200 volts, the full power is, is able to be delivered by that power supply. And this is true all the way up to the maximum input voltage of that LED driver, which in this case is 305 volts AC. Now this means that your input voltage is rather common, 230 to 240 volts AC, which we re here we would refer to this as high line, and you can safely operate the power supply at 100% of the output power. The other common shape you'll see in the input to rating curves is shown here in the next graph where the single flat portion of the curve is. Now in this graph, this is a 200 watt power supply and you'll see that you can use 100% of the output voltage, of the output power rather, at 115 volts or above that and where you could see the dotted line. You could also see that between 115 volts AC and the maximum input voltage of, the, of this power supply, which in this case is 264 volts, you can use full power. However, if your input voltage is less than 115 volts, but greater than the minimum input, which is 80, then the power supply will function, but you will need to derate it in your system. So for instance, if your input voltage were at 90 volts AC, then you should draw a line upwards from 90 volts AC and where it intersects the curve, that would be where your percentage of load will be. And in this case, a derating of approximately 85% of full power would be required. Since this graph is from a 200 watt power supply, you would need to multiply 200 by 0.85 to find your maximum power and that would be 170 watts and that 170 watts is what you will use for 90 volts AC input. Now it's important to note that this derating usually does not happen automatically, meaning it is up to you to determine how much derating is necessary based on the input voltage you measure or design for. 
you can then size your power supply appropriate to compensate for any of that derating. Now, if you have any questions about input voltage derating or how it may apply to your system, give us a call here at TRC. We'll answer all your questions so that you are on the right power supply for your application. And make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we put, and put comments in the chat because we love to hear your feedback on our content. We'll see you on the next Stay Plugged In episode.